in just a few minutes. Hopefully they're shaking their hands due to a victory. The teams have locked in their champions. So start sending us your picks for this game. Tweet LOL, at LOL Esports with the hashtag DIG win or the hashtag TDK win. We'll update the fan poll with your votes shortly as we head into the game. Final game here. Week two, day one. Full We're going to get... flashes mid and trying to just have some pressure, some relevance. <laughs> Doesn't have to take over the game. But look at this Seraph. He's going in. He's a little too far. Like you said, right when he thinks he has that Here idea that he can take down Gamsu, oh. they go right for him. He gets bounced out by the last hit, actually, of a zingy. And Kez does not get what he, he wants. Out of that ultimate, Shifter comes in with Shifting Sands. And a zingy picks up first blood. Once again, has a hand in that for Dignitas, something that helped them a lot against Cloud9. We'll see if Team Dignitas can keep it up. And Seraph just ditched him. Kez is going to go with the reserved play because that's very punishable. Blow your five. Look at this. Oh, Seraph. Oh. Uh, Here's the turn, rise. Turn away. W turn away. Can I open my eyes yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, okay. can, you can look, Rip. Okay, I, had looks to, like, I had to save you from that. It looks like nothing happened. That's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to be in that lane anymore. Sorry. I have, I'm <laughs> very passionate about Rise right now. <laughs> passionate. This is why. Passionate oh. indeed, baby. Oh, he goes down. Now on to Lapman. WQE. Do it again. <laughs> Gamsu actually has to turn. The combo wasn't finished off on that time, and you can see just a few seconds what it means for Ryze to have to turn around if that combo is not consecutively made out. He tries to keep it going, finally gets locked down again. It's one after the other of TDK getting themselves into that turret aggro and back out, and they come up nicely with a few kills as they lose baby. But they're losing so much and for this. They lost middle. the mid, and they're losing the tier two down bottom to Core JJ, who has a Bloodthirster and two daggers and Zerker's Greaves. He's got a lot of damage on this. You can see home guards from Seraph. Is he going to make it in time? It doesn't look like he's going to do it. It's going to go down to the Trinity 4 spike, but Aurelia needs a little more oomph behind that. He needs mm -hmm. to get that Spectre's Cow, keep himself healthy, because it's a double, triple AP threat here, considering a lot of da magic damage from the Zack, and there he goes on to Baby! Love what Dignitas is doing with their team here as well. The initiation from Azingi already made it. Kiwi Kid's actually thrown a Talisman of Ascension in there. To the barrel as well. Things to deter them. And oh, there the he goes. Talisman of Ascension goes off. Only a dark binding. As Zingy flies over the wall. Kez is going to be the first target they look at. Saris actually Gansu. diving in to try and help. Gansu, a little too far forward, takes the hits, but he's still alive. The Arcane Mastery and the Saris Embrace keep him alive. Kiwi Kid close to going down now as Zingy flies through with Shifter's Soldiers, and they can only pick up a few more bits of DPS. It is going to be Baby going down by the hands of Kiwi Kid as they continue to fight a nice hail of arrows once again to keep Gamsu from getting back into this one. He's the so Talisman bad. of Ascension could be coming back up soon here. A Zingy maybe with a slingshot. Yeah, it's up this already. This is an absolute coast-to-coast -coast fight right now. Talisman of Ascension once. A Zingy going for the slingshot. It's not going to be in range, and the fight is finally called off by Dignitas as they make it. It's a Dignitas right now, and a Zingy, he's doing what you said. There goes the start. There's the strength. It's right on to Seraph. You cannot get away. Azingi has just turned it on here in the spring split for Dignitas, making moves that are really paying off for the team. And now it's up to TDK to poke the hell out of Dignitas and get him off this Baron. Yeah, where was Baby before that? But look at this. Azingi's going to go back in on the Baby. Bates call in. Eyes on Bishu and Latman as well to make sure they stay safe. Baby. Throwing it back. Also uses the McHales on himself to try and get out, but he gets taken down. Core JJ gets the rend off. Kez comes in for a little bit of beef between the AD carries. Seraph's going to be picking up the third dragon here. Which is good, because it we is. just talked about movement speed. It it's is going good. to get TDK. That but look at this. Oh, oh Kez it. steals it! It's going to be Kez that takes down the Baron. Kiwi Kid's now getting hit. Fake call. Pulling back in. Seraph distracting the team on the other side. So Latman and Beast, you can get in with more poke. But they just want the Baron. They actually don't want the fight from what it looks like. They're out, and they're happy. Little bit gratuitous there from Ser Seraph. It was not Ooh. necessary. So. <laughs> it, it gave eyes back. It's here. Oh, Zingy. Zingy over the wall. Let's he bounce. Got stunned, he did get stunned oh, he's right back in. the beginning. Flies through. And Azingi tries to keep it in the fight. He's going down. The blobs are out. The passive is down as well. And that's a 5v4 now for Team Dragon Knights. But again, they are having our hard hats on. And they are not going to go in under the turret. They make sure it's safe. They know they have Baron. And the wave was not too far off. Going now for the inhibitor turret. It does not look like Dignitas can do much. They're very, very low, and not too many members are even sporting home guards, so they have to stay here. They have to try and protect the turret. Inevitably, gonna watch this go down there. if they can get a few more shots, and it will be. 
Baron, Baron wears off. Baron has worn off. TDK are able oh. to pressure through one more time. Gamsu getting the ultimate off. Does not take down Kez, but that forces TDK off of the base. 15 seconds on a Zingy. Still have some time to wait for him. Oh, he flashes over the chain of corruption, but Seraph goes in with the same idea. They are thinking alike right now, but Seraph oh. goes down first. That's the double kill for Gamsu. It's exactly what he wanted to be the focal point that TDK came back Very on. Very late on that pickup, but it's looking to be enough. They get this fourth dragon. Oh, let's bounce. Losses. Two members, almost three now. Kaz on the back line, very hurt. There's a nice cast, but it doesn't really separate the team in the way that he wanted. It's Dignitas with the ability to still put down the DPS. Core JJ over the wall now, doing what he can to take down Kaz. And they will back off once again, measured in their attack and not going too far. Wave clear. And they lose Ooh. both turrets. This is all three inhibitors open. Okay, so as I say, they were taking all the inhibitor turrets. They start taking inhibitor turrets. A flash from Gamsu locks down Seraph. Still, without too many members there, that prison, Rune Prison is going to do a good lockdown onto Aurelia. And they start to finish off the inhibitor turret now. Get more super minions down the mid lane here. Baron, remember, oh, is on to Dignitas. So the minions coming in are going to help even more. They already take down Baby. And it looks like Kiwi Kid once again forced out after his initial initiation. Shifter returning to the fight with a squad of super minions in the bottom lane or rather, minions that are barrened up. And they go for the fight. Whoa, Gamsu, a little too far forward there, puts himself in the fire, and he gets burned real bad. But it's going to be the rest of the team. Shifter and Core JJ picking up kills and inhibitors for the team as Dignitas finally looks to put, a, uh, looks like they're going to put a stamp on this game inside the base of TDK and on some Nexus turrets. Dignitas, not with the same type of early game of pressure that we were no. expecting. Azingi, though, having another good performance on the Zac. He really I is. am extremely surprised with how he's performing this season. It, in in a way, if it's the thing that he can get the best engages on, like I said, the CLG Sejuani game he played wasn't that great. Maybe people will start banning out this Zack against a Zingy since it's become yeah, it so down. good with the team. Maybe even it was Dignitas that started working better with it as he leveled up his play as well. It's just all come together for Dig. As you can see, four members down, and Seraph almost on the fountain as he's quite dead. Team Dignitas are going to take down Team Dragon Knights. 49 minutes. Very low kill game there from TD. Once again. High kill from Dignitas. They're really in a habit of starving their opponents. And the way they played that, it wasn't just draft, it was the way they played the map on Dignitas' side, the way they played the team fights around Azingi was well executed. The chase down top lane was the big play of this game that opened up the map off of Kiwi Kid's Talisman of Ascension run in over and over again. The relentlessness of this composition when they see and they smell blood, they're like sharks. They will keep going for that. Yeah.